Travis is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an example of how you could use the Google Meet nickname feature and also use your Google Calendar. So the first step is to go to Google Meet and create your nickname. Now, I'm learning this from um, Eric Kurtz, who has a great post about nicknames. And then I had a teacher reach out and ask, how could we still use the calendar and nicknames? So this is my thought. I'm going to start the meeting and I'm going to get my nickname. And I'm gonna make sure it's something that people won't um, also use, because you wanna make sure it's individual to you. So let's say I'm gonna say Fisher 1981. There's my nickname, which means anytime I give out that nickname, um, I can have students join it, but they can't join until I am in the meeting, which is great. And you can see me. Um, so then I would use that. Now I have that meet and that's ready to go. So, but I still wanna use my calendar so I can schedule these and have it show. So I'm gonna to go to my calendar and I'm going to schedule that meet. So let's say I wanna schedule at this date. I'm gonna go into my more options just so I can see this on the screen. And I'm going to say Google meet and maybe it's with my science period two class. I'm going to put in the time of whatever time that is. I'm not going to add conferencing. Instead, I'm going to say, please join our Google Meet. Go to, and I'm going to put in the address for Google Meets, meet.google.com. And maybe I'm going to hyperlink that. Then I'm going to hit step two, click join meeting. Once the meeting has started, you cannot join until I start the meeting. And then three, enter our nickname, Richard, 1981. I believe I had it all lowercase, which you may want to make sure you tell them if that's the case. And then I would hit save. And if I want to send that to guests, I would input my guests. If I don't want to send that to guests, I would take this direction and email it out. And that's how you could use calendar. So you won't use the conferencing feature if you're going to use the nickname feature. And remember, the nickname feature, if set properly in your Google admin panel, allows you to um, start the meeting and not have students join until you have started it. It also allows you to end the meeting and not have students go back to that link. So it gives you a little bit more control as long as you are the last to leave the meeting for students in Google Meet. Thank you.